In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to express uh, decimal uh, repeating numbers to fractions. Yeah, so uh, the question says express the following in the form a over b, where a and b are integers. Alright, so this is a very simple question. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you click on the subscription button below the video and also click on the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting and if you have any questions or you want to join the online tuitions that i conduct for physics mathematics chemistry and biology feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen all right so let's quickly begin to solve the question so this is a question uh, this is a very simple question rather let's start so the first question is 0 0.33 so how do we express that into um, a fraction so there are just a few steps that you need to, um, to to follow for you to know how to do uh, I mean how to express all these numbers into decimal uh, rather into fractions all right so I'm going to uh, equate what I've been given there. So the first one there is uh, 0 0.33 and we've been told that 33 is repeating. So now how do we express this into a fraction? So I'm going to say let x be equal to 0 0.33. So after doing this, the first step that I'm supposed to do, so step number one, so I'll, stay, I'll say step one I'll move this decimal point closer to the repeating number. Yeah, so I think the best way I can explain this is maybe let me let me create an imaginary number and then after doing that I'll I'll I'll, I'll pick uh, a few questions from these that we're going to solve together. So if you have let's say for instance x being equal to uh, zero point um let's say maybe you have uh a b c this is just a number and let's take for instance um c is repeating in this number c is repeating in this number so how do we uh express this as a decimal uh, as a fraction so the first thing you move this point closer to the repeating number and that will be one two so if it moves two times it means that you are multiplying the whole equation by hundred if it moves once, you are multiplying it by 10. If it moves three times, you are multiplying it by 1,000. So in this case, it will move 1, 2, closer to the repeating number, meaning I'm going to multiply it by 100. So 100 times x, that will be x. 100 times this whole figure here, that will be a, b, point, c, bar. So after doing this, the other thing that we're going to do is to move this point again to cover the repeating numbers. So if we move this point to cover the repeating number, here we only have one repeating number, meaning we only have to move one step. So I'll move that step and that means we're multiplying the whole equation by, by 10. So if I multiply 100 by 10, I'm getting a 1000 x being equal to a b c dot i mean point this c will still continue repeating so what i'm just required to do is to subtract uh, this equation there from this equation so this will be 1000 x minus 100 x being equal to this part which is a b uh, c point c bar minus a b point c bar so when you do the subtraction you can now make um, x the subject of the formula and define the solution all right so let's do the same let's follow the same steps even when solving this uh, this one here now for this one since we don't have any numbers in front of the repeating numbers meaning we are skipping this stage um, where we have to move the point closer to the repeating number so we just go straight to this um, stage where we have to move the point to cover the repeating numbers so if we have to uh, cover these two um, repeating numbers meaning we have to move two times 
we have to move this point two times going to the right so that we cover the repeating numbers. So if we're moving two times, then we are multiplying by 100. So 100 times x, we're getting 100x. And then we say this is equal to um, 0 0.33 times x. We are getting 33 because if you multiply this by 100, the point will move two times. And then this 3, 3 will keep on repeating because it keeps on going this side. It's not ending. So we still have it even here after multiplying by 100. So what we now uh, do is to subtract, like I said, you subtract this, uh, I mean, you subtract this from this equation. So we have 100x minus x. This is going to be equal to 33.33 minus that. So we have 33.33 bar minus 0 0.33 bar. So when we subtract 100 minus x, we are getting 99x. And this will be equal to 33.33 bar minus 0 0.33 bar. This is simply just going to give us 33. How have I found this? So I'm saying 33.33 bar minus uh, 0 0.33 bar. So this 33 bar minus 33 bar, we're getting a 0. And then a point there, 3 minus 0, that's 3. 3 minus 0, that's 3. So this is the 33 that I've written here. So what we just need to do here is to divide everything by 99. And in most cases, for, for you to show uh, clear steps, you just have to write this again. And then you make x the subject. So we divide by 99, divide by 99. And the value of x becomes, so 33 into, 30, 33, into 33, this gives us 1. 33 into 99 gives us 3. So you can try to type that on your calculator. You discover that the answer that you are going to get will be 0 0.33 the threes will be repeating so this is the fraction form of this um of this uh decimal so you can now conclude to say therefore 0 0.33 bar is equal to 1 over 3 so this is how you're supposed to answer such questions let's quickly move on to this question here so this one we also do the same, we follow the same steps. We say let x be equal to 0 0.16 bar. So we move the point to cover the repeating numbers. And this is going to, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, this means we have to multiply it by 100 since we have two repeating numbers. So we multiply this by 100. We are going to have um, 100 times x. We are having 100x. And then this will be equal to 100 times 0 0.16 this would be 16.16 uh, bar so now we have to subtract this from that so we say 100 x minus x is equal to 16.16 minus 0 0.16 bar so when you subtract this following the same um same operation following the same uh, method of subtraction you say 16.16 bar minus 0 0.16 bar 16 bar minus 16 bar you're getting a 0 16 minus 0 you're getting 16 so we are getting 16 this side this other side we're getting 100 minus x this is 99 x over 99 over 99 and the value of x becomes um, you can you, you can simplify this further if it's possible but if there's no number that can go into 16 and 99 then you just leave it like that, 16 over 99. So that is the solution. So what you just have to make sure is that um, is that um, the fraction is in its lowest form. So that is very important. You have to make sure that the fraction is in its lowest form. So this is the fraction that we need. So you can conclude and say zero point. Therefore, zero point one six bar is the, is equal to sixteen over ninety nine in a fraction form. All right. Let's quickly move on to the to, to the next question. So we have the other question, which is x. So we say let x be equal to two point one four three bar. 
so this is a very simple question as well so once i do this one i'm leaving question four and five for you to solve yeah so on question five you know that one seven is repeating so if i solve this one it means that i've solved this one and that one yeah so i'll skip these two for your um for, for practice sake you can solve them and then you give me the solution you send the solution on whatsapp so that i check if you are correct or wrong or in case you know that you are correct there's no need to send All right so i'll skip and i'll solve this other question so let's quickly solve this one so we say x is equal to that so we have uh, three repeating numbers meaning we're multiplying the equation by 1000 so we say 1000 times x or getting a thousand x being equal to 1000 times that we have 2143.143 bar 143 bar is still repeating so you don't have to leave it so now we can subtract this from that so we say 1000 x minus x is equal to this 2143.143 bar minus 2.143 bar so when you subtract this you are getting 999x being equal to so what is um the answer if you subtract this and that so we're saying 2143.143 bar minus 2.143 bar so when you subtract this this and that you give you a zero there this will give you a zero this and that will give you one we have 412 so we have 2141 so we have 2141 so we can now divide everything by x or rather by 999 so we have 999 over 999 the value of x therefore gives us so you can you, you can uh, reduce this if it's possible so if, if it's possible you can reduce this but if there's no um, um, if, there's, if there's no way you can reduce this to its lowest term then there's no need yeah so I believe there's no number that can go into this okay so you leave it like that so we have 2141 over 999 so this is the solution for this answer the, uh, for this question rather so let's quickly move on to this one i'm leaving this one and this one as your practice uh, questions yeah so you can solve them and if you finish solving them make sure that you forward them to any of these lines and ask whether you are correct or wrong yeah, so i'll tell you whether your solution is wrong or correct to help you understand more. all right so um if uh, rather we, if you have this kind of a question you follow the same you follow you follow the same procedure so you have 2.590 bar so we have seen that 90 is repeating so now how do we solve such a question so we say let x be equal to that and remember what i said if you follow the, se the steps properly there was a part which i mentioned to say you have to make sure that uh, you move this point closer to the repeating numbers and this means at uh, this point you have to move once so that it, be, it is so that it is there all right so um and and for us to move that point to this uh, point we have to multiply the whole equation by 10 so if we multiply the whole equation by 10 10 times x will give us 10x and this will be uh 2.590 times 10 or getting 25.90 bar and the other step that follows is to move this point to cover the repeating numbers so um for us to cover the repeating numbers we have to move two times going to the right so moving two times means that we're multiplying by 100 so 100 times 10 we're getting 1000 x and this would be equal to 25 nine zero point nine zero so this is exactly what you're supposed to do so the other thing you're supposed to do yeah so you subtract this equation from that equation so we are going to have 1000x minus 10x being equal to 
uh, 2590.90 bar minus 25.90 bar. So 1000x minus 10x, this will give us 990x being equal to what? 2590.90 minus 25, this is going to give us. So we can do the quick uh, subtraction here 2590.90 minus uh, 25.90 bar bar. So this and that will give us a zero, and then a point there comes. So we say 10 minus 5, we get a 5 there, then 8 minus 2, we're getting 6. Then we have five and two, so two five sixty five. So we have two five sixty five. So we're dividing everything by nine ninety. Two five sixty five over nine ninety over nine ninety, so that we make x the subject. So here is just a matter of um, dividing this. You find the number that can go into both. Uh, 2565 or 2565 and 990. So let's see if there's a number that can go into that. Yeah, so these are very simple questions. These are very simple questions. So let's check if there's a number. So 45 can go into both 2,565 and 990. So 45 into 2,565, uh, it gives something like 57. Yeah. So when you multiply 57 and 45, you discover that you get, I mean, 2,565. So 45 into that gives 57 45 into 990 we're getting 22 yeah so when um yeah so this is uh the solution so this is an improper fraction of um this given expression there yeah so it's as simple as this there is nothing difficult about conversions from a def decimal to a fraction. So if you have any questions, make sure that you contact me using any of these lines on the screen. Don't forget to click on the subscription button and the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'll be posting. And if you want to join the online sessions that I have with students, uh, you can simply also contact me on these same lines and then we'll agree to see how best we can help each other. My name is Hamted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.